All right, yeah, you know, and it's I'm actually not surprised that there was an earthquake at the same time because remember, there's a lot of weight there. I mean, a lot of displacement, a little pressure. Uh, maybe the, there was just a little pressure before the, uh, you know, Hillary moved in and just uh, offset that pressure a little bit. Yeah, I mean, you can get an earthquake, so it's possible. But anyway, uh, Hillary is moving north. It's post tropical now. It's pretty much wrapping up in terms of wind, but there's still a lot of rain that's passing up into uh, parts of Nevada, other parts of California, and yeah, there's still potential for some flooding, even though the center of it now is up in Nevada. Uh, the, it's again, the winds have really come down on it, so it's really uh, wrapping up, but not completely done because of the rain. The rain's still going to be around there for a little while, and even that will wind down today. Now in the Atlantic, I mean, it's busy. We've got three systems. Emily, Gert, this is three tropical storms, by the way, and Franklin. Franklin is in the Caribbean. Gert is going to fall apart very soon. Even though it, it went up to a tropical storm briefly, it's going to fall apart probably by this morning, and then Emily's going to stay out to sea. And you can see the track on Emily. It does take it northwest and then northerly, not bothering anybody. It's just a marine system. But uh, uh, over here, it's Franklin. That one is going to impact probably the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. Uh, at least the Dominican Republic. Uh, so right now you can see the tall thunderstorms around it. I mean, it's some hefty thunderstorms just didn't have a lot of organization, but it is going to move west and then north over the Dominican Republic. There'll probably be some heavy rain for Puerto Rico and also for Haiti, and then it will move northeast and become possibly a hurricane for a little bit. Now this will happen south of Bermuda. I think it'll miss Bermuda, but there's still some wiggle room there. We'll have to keep an eye on it. The good news for us is we got the surf competition, the East CSC this week, and I think we're going to have some pretty good surf because of all these systems out there. So in the long run, it's good for us. We will have a higher threat for rip currents, though. Uh, so for swimmers, uh, if you're going to try and get in some beach time before school starts, it may be uh, a problem. We'll see. So today, high temperatures, low to mid-90s, heat index 99. It is going to be a good beach day today, but it's going to be hot and humid for those working outside. Tomorrow, 83, feeling like 85. That's no problem. We can handle that. And then going into Wednesday, the high temperature 80, uh, heat index yeah, no, I mean, it's going to be so dry, we don't have to worry about it at all. Um, so high pressure is offshore. we got a front that's falling apart over us. It's a stationary front. We're basically going to be hot and humid today, but then this cool front, that'll come down tomorrow, and that will bring us some very nice conditions. We're going to have some very dry air going into Tuesday afternoon, Wednesday, and Thursday, and then the humidity goes up Friday into Saturday. So that's when we could see some more rain. But, you know, even with that front passing uh, tonight, tomorrow, we're not going to have any rain with it. Things are quiet right now. Super Doppler 10 and Future Track has a quiet forecast. Between now and noon, we'll have uh, mostly sunny, then partly cloudy skies. No rain on the map here on the model. Going with a quiet forecast, we'll have a northerly wind. That's not the front, though. The winds just changed. It's a little wind shift. Uh, tomorrow, interesting, the front does move through, and it's going to pick up those winds. Maybe not so much in the morning, but in the afternoon, the winds will be picking up out of the north, northeast, 10 to 15, maybe a few gusts to 20. Partly cloudy skies for your Tuesday. Today, highs low to mid 90s, 92 Virginia Beach, 93 Norfolk, 94 Chesapeake, 90, or 95 Chesapeake, 94 in Elizabeth City, 89 in Hampton, 87 in Melfa, 93 in Newport News. Boating forecast winds southwest and north, 10 to 15 knots, seas 1 to 2 feet. And at the beaches, looks pretty good. Rip current risk is low, waves 1 to 2 feet. It's probably as we head into later this week that the, the surf is going to really pick up. So it'll probably Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But that's good because that's when the competition gets a little bit more into high gear. And so Saturday, we got a 40% chance of rain and storms. Not 100%, though, 88. And then uh, 82 on Sunday, we cool it down again. But yeah, a spike in the temp on Friday, 93.